the Cuban Missile Crisis Explained. In October 1962, the world held its breath for 13 days. This was the Cuban Missile Crisis, the closest the Cold War ever came to escalating into a full-scale nuclear war. Here's what happened, why it was so dangerous, and how it was ultimately resolved. The background. After World War II, two superpowers emerged, the United States and the Soviet Union, USSR. Their rivalry, known as the Cold War, was marked by a race for nuclear supremacy. By 1962, tensions were high. The U.S. had missiles in Turkey and Italy capable of striking the USSR, while the Soviets lacked a similar threat against the U.S. Cuba enters the picture after its 1959 revolution, led by Fidel Castro, which turned Cuba into a socialist state. The U.S., uncomfortable with a Soviet ally so close, attempted to overthrow Castro in the failed Bay of Pigs invasion of 1961. This failure embarrassed the U.S. and pushed Cuba closer to the USSR. The discovery in October 1962, American U-2 spy planes took photographs of Soviet missile bases being built in Cuba. These missiles could carry nuclear warheads and reach most of the continental United States within minutes. President John F. Kennedy was informed and the discovery set off a crisis. The confrontation. Kennedy had a tough decision to make. Allow the missiles to be completed and risk the security of the nation or act to remove them and risk starting a nuclear war. The U.S. decided on a naval blockade of Cuba, officially called a quarantine, to prevent further Soviet military supplies from reaching the island. Kennedy demanded the removal of the missiles already there. The world watched as Soviet ships headed towards the blockade line. A direct confrontation seemed imminent. Secret negotiations. Behind the scenes, tense negotiations took place between the U.S. and the USSR. Publicly, both sides stuck to their demands, but privately, they searched for a peaceful solution. The stakes were too high for any misstep. The resolution. The crisis reached its peak on October 27th, known as Black Saturday, with several dangerous incidents pushing the superpowers closer to war. However, a breakthrough came when Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev offered to remove the missiles in exchange for a U.S. promise not to invade Cuba. A secret deal was also struck to remove U.S. missiles from Turkey later on. Kennedy agreed, and the world stepped back from the nuclear brink. The missiles were dismantled and shipped back to the USSR, and the blockade was lifted. Aftermath and Impact the Cuban Missile Crisis had several key outcomes. Hotline established. A direct communication link between Washington and Moscow, known as the Hotline, was established to prevent future crises. Nuclear Test Ban Treaty. The crisis underscored the need for control over nuclear weapons. In 1963, a treaty banning atmospheric nuclear tests was signed. Shift in Cold War Dynamics. The crisis marked a turning point in the Cold War, leading to a period of detente, a relaxation of tensions in the late 1960s and early 1970s. Understanding the Cuban Missile Crisis, lessons for today. The importance of communication. During the crisis, the US and the Soviet Union were on the verge of nuclear war, primarily due to misunderstandings and lack of direct communication. The establishment of the hotline between Washington and Moscow afterwards showed the world that direct dialogue is essential in resolving conflicts. Lesson, always keep the lines of communication open, whether in international relations, in the workplace, or in personal life. The value of restraint. President John F. Kennedy and Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev both had the power to push the button and start a nuclear war. Instead, they chose restraint, recognizing the catastrophic consequences of such actions. Lesson. Sometimes, showing strength isn't about taking the most drastic action, but choosing the path that avoids unnecessary harm. The necessity of preparedness. The crisis highlighted the need for leaders to be prepared for any scenario. Kennedy's administration had carefully considered various responses through XCOM, showing the importance of planning and preparation. Lesson, being prepared for the worst while working for the best is crucial in managing crises effectively, understanding the opponent's perspective. 
A key to resolving the crisis was the ability of each side to understand the other's fears and motivations. This empathy allowed for solutions that addressed the concerns of both parties. Lesson, trying to understand where others are coming from can lead to more effective problem solving and conflict resolution. The role of advisors. Kennedy's decision making was influenced by a range of advisors, some advocating for military action, others for a diplomatic solution. He listened, but made his own informed decisions. Lesson, listen to advice, but critically evaluate it to make informed decisions that align with your values and the greater good. The unpredictability of history. Before the crisis, few could have predicted that Cuba would become the focal point of a superpower showdown. Lesson, history is often shaped by unexpected events. Flexibility and adaptability are key to navigating uncertain futures. Psychological lessons from the Cuban Missile Crisis. The weight of decisions under pressure. The leaders involved were under immense stress, making decisions that could have led to global annihilation. Lesson, high pressure situations can cloud judgment. It's essential to take a step back, consult with others, and consider all options calmly before making significant decisions. Understanding the opponent. Kennedy and Khrushchev each had to predict the other's responses, a delicate dance of assumption and interpretation. Lesson. In conflicts, try to understand the motivations and fears driving the other side. Empathy can lead to more effective problem-solving strategies. The role of groupthink advisory groups to Kennedy showed signs of groupthink, initially favoring aggressive action. Lesson. In group decisions, foster an environment where dissenting opinions are encouraged. This can prevent the group from making ill-informed, unanimous decisions. The impact of fear. Fear of nuclear war profoundly influenced the decisions made by both leaders. Lesson. Fear can be a powerful motivator, but can also lead to rash decisions if not managed properly. Recognize fear's influence on decision-making and strive to balance it with rational analysis. Historical insights from the Cuban Missile Crisis. The role of international diplomacy. The resolution of the Cuban Missile Crisis is a testament to the power of diplomacy. Behind the scenes negotiations led to a peaceful outcome. Diplomacy is a vital tool in resolving conflicts, often more effective than military action. Learning from mistakes. Both the U.S. and USSR learned from the crisis, implementing measures to prevent similar situations. The crisis led to a more cautious approach to international relations and a push towards arms control agreements. Lesson. Nations must learn from near misses and implement policies to prevent future crises. Um, the impact of domestic politics on international relations. The decisions made by Kennedy and Khrushchev were influenced by domestic political pressures. Lesson, leaders often have to balance international diplomacy with domestic expectations, a dynamic that continues to shape global politics. Understanding the adversary's perspective. A key to resolving the crisis was each side's effort to understand the other's fears and motivations. Lesson. Empathy for an adversary's position can lead to breakthroughs in negotiations that seem otherwise impossible. The importance of leadership. The crisis underscored the importance of strong, decisive leadership in times of international tension. Kennedy's and Khrushchev's choices averted a nuclear war. Lesson. Effective leadership characterized by foresight, Courage and a willingness to compromise is critical in navigating crises. The unintended consequences of actions. The installation of Soviet missiles in Cuba and the U.S. response could have led to unintended and disastrous consequences. Lesson. Nations must consider the potential ripple effects of their actions on the global stage. Conclusion. The Cuban Missile Crisis serves a crucial historical episode, offering lessons on the complexity of international relations, the importance of communication and diplomacy, and the need for strong leadership. By understanding and applying these lessons, current and future leaders can better navigate the intricacies of global politics and conflicts, 
hopefully steering the world away from the brink of disaster and towards a more stable and peaceful future. Epilogue. In 1973, during the Yom Kippur War, certain atomic weapons were ready for use by the Israeli Defense Forces. For decades, we have been concerned that India and Pakistan might deploy atomic weapons against each other. And now, Due to growing tensions between NATO countries and Russia, the fear of nuclear war looms once again. If Putin were to die suddenly and Medvedev took charge, be prepared, because we might experience something unprecedented. Fear the worst, hope for the best. Thank you for watching.